Hey guys, and welcome to today's episode of Big Messages for Little Ears. So here's the thing. I know that we just started a series about the Lord's Prayer where we're all memorizing and learning the Lord's Prayer together. And I promise that this Thursday we will get right back to it. But today I just kind of felt like talking about something different. And so today we're just going to take a break from the Lord's Prayer and we're going to have a different lesson. Today, we are actually going to talk about God's comfort and how great God can be when we're sad. Because you know what? I woke up today and it is a super dreary, rainy day outside. All the animals are feeling pretty cuddly and snuggly. I'm feeling just a little out of it today. And so today I was like, it's a good day to just talk about feelings and why feelings are a good thing. And so that's what we're going to talk about today. And we're going to talk about how great it is that God is with us when we feel our feelings. And so speaking of feelings, I was wondering if you guys ever have times in your life where you kind of just want to cry. We all cry for different reasons. I know I am such a sucker for a really sad movie. My friends pick on me all of the time. I cry so easily at sad movies. Um, sometimes I cry mm, if I fall down, right? When we fall down and we scrape our knees, that hurts. That's a big ouch. That's a big boo-boo. So yeah, I'm going to cry because that hurt. Or sometimes maybe somebody hurts our feelings. Somebody says something not nice about us or calls us a not nice name. Sometimes we cry because somebody hurt our feelings. Sometimes we cry because we're happy, right? Crying isn't always a bad thing. Sometimes we cry literally just because we have something in our eye and our eyes water really badly, right? We cry and we make tears for all kinds of reasons. So whenever we're hurt or whenever we're sad, tears can help ease our pain. If we miss something or we miss someone, sometimes crying can help us feel better. It helps us feel like we got that big feeling out of our body, right? Jesus even cried when he was sad and he comforted his friends when they were sad. Jesus cried and Jesus's friends cried too. Tears are good for us and we can cry when we're sad because we know that God will take our tears away. Listen to what the Bible says. So in Isaiah 25, 8, it says, the Lord will wipe away every tear from your face. So in this part of the Bible, the people of Israel, some, some people that lived in Israel were very far away from their home and they missed their homes very much. So they cried because they missed their country and they missed their families. But God was awesome and promised them that they would get to go home soon and that they would be happy again and that God would wipe their tears away. God wants us to be happy. He wants us to feel good things. He wants us to feel joy. That's why he sent Jesus to die on the cross for us. But God also knows that there are things in life that are going to make us sad. And when we're sad, it is okay that tears can help us ease our pain. So never be afraid to cry and never be afraid to feel your feelings because Jesus cried. But remember, God is going to be there to wipe the tears away and happiness will come again soon. What's important is just that you feel your feelings when they demand to be felt. And so I actually just found this brand new children's book that I love and I wanted to read it to you guys today. And so I figured this could be a nice ending to our lesson. So it's called The Boy with Big, Big Feelings. And so it's a really cool storybook that basically just tells us what we can do whenever we're having a lot of feelings. So I thought we could read it together today. So it says, there once was a boy with feathery hair and a heart that was bursting with feeling. His emotions seemed bigger than everyone else's and sometimes they made him go reeling. When playing outside on the yellowest days, a loud truck might rumble on by. And wouldn't you know it, that big heart of his would push feelings right out of his eyes. 
At night when the shadows would form on the walls and fear would steal all of his rest. Those feelings of his made it so hard to breathe as they jumped up and down on his chest. Sometimes when his play had come to an end or when things didn't go quite as he planned, the feelings would run down the length of his arms and clench when they got to his hands. He felt happy feelings as big as the others from tickles and hide and go seek and jokes and races and stories and songs that made feelings glow from his cheeks. Beautiful things would stick in his brain and not leave him for hours and hours. The fur of a dog, of a fluffy white cloud, his mama, a banjo, some flowers. But when someone he loved had a very hard day, he'd feel he'd been over-equipped to feel all their feelings as deeply as they, which would quiver right out of his lip. He wondered, why me? Why is this big giant heart in a world that's so heavy and kind? Where all of the feelings under the sun feel as if they were made to be mine? So the boy tried to stuff all of his feelings deep down to, to control what he thought he should hide, afraid that the others would make fun of him if they saw all he felt deep inside. Would they think he was weak, dramatic, afraid? Would they call him a wimp or a baby? If they saw the big thumping heart in his chest, would they not want to play with him maybe? But while swinging one day, feeling kind of alone, he noticed a girl feeling blue. He marveled, what's that? Could it be? Yes, indeed. Her emotions were extra big too. Are you okay? The boy asked the girl. I'm fine, just sometimes I get sad. He said, you do? Hey, I get sad too. I get scared and silly and mad. So the two became pals who shared their big hearts, not feeling they had to pretend. When they needed to cry or to laugh big and loud, since feelings had helped make them friends. And soon they noticed there were others with big hearts in the classroom, the playground, the bus, and they smiled as they learned that it wasn't just them. Big emotions affect all of us. The boy and his friends slowly felt less alone with the feelings that lived deep inside them. Emotions might feel big and scary sometimes, but that is no reason to hide them. The end. So like I said, this is a really cool new storybook called The Boy with Big Big Feelings by Brittany Winley. And it's basically just a really fun and cute reminder that feelings are a good thing and sometimes our feelings demand to be felt and that is okay. So be true to your heart and be true to you and feel what you need to feel when you need to feel it. And the really cool thing is Sometimes when those feelings might be sad or scary or angry, God is with you and he will comfort you and he will wipe those tears away. And what a promising, hopeful thought that is. So guys, I hope you are able to have some fun inside on these dreary days and I hope you are doing well. I miss and love each and every one of you so, so much. And I can't wait to hopefully see you soon. Bye guys. Luna's already passed out, so she says bye too. But bye guys. <laughs>